how do you mix? So mixing in singing is transitioning from one register to the next smoothly. So for example, if you are singing in your chest voice and you are trying to go to your head voice, sometimes there is this break or this flip and it doesn't sound as clear as you want it to or it gets kind of breathy when you go to your upper register. So when you are mixing, we're talking about blending. You are blending your register together. I don't usually like to think about having different registers <laughs> to work with, but those terms were created so that we can better teach and better understand what is going on with our voice. So before we get into mixing exercises, which I will show you later, I wanna talk about the chest voice and then the head voice. So chest voice is usually singing in your lower register and you can feel the resonance or vibrations in your chest area. And so when you are singing in your chest, just know that your vocal folds can come in together more firmly than they do in your upper register. That's just how the body works. So when you're thinking about breath support and how much closure you need, it is different from your head voice. So just know in your chest voice, your vocal folds are coming in more firmly than your head voice. And you can use a little bit more air because it creates that resistance. That's why it's so easy to just talk in this range, in the chest voice range. So yeah, make sure you develop your chest voice and then let's talk about head voice. When you are singing in your upper register, just know that your focal folds are having a harder time coming together. And that's why you need to develop the muscles to strengthen the cord closure up there. And the reason why they're not coming together is you just, haven't really developed those muscles over time. We always talk and speak in this middle chest range, but we don't usually talk a little bit higher on a daily basis. So you do have to set aside time to practice the head voice, practice singing in your upper register so that it can strengthen that cord closure. Now with the knowledge in mind, that the folds don't come in as firmly as they do in the upper register, you have to make sure you are not pushing out too much air. If you push too much air out, you're gonna shove your vocal folds apart. And that is where you get the breathiness, right? The breathiness that you don't want. Because when you push too much air out, your vocal folds come apart and then you can't make sound. And sound is created when air is going through the cords. <laughs> so you need to understand these two concepts in order for you to bring it together, which is the mixed voice. Now let's talk about mixing. Mixing is a blend of the two registers, whether you're going up or back down, you have to blend. And it's not just one note that you blend, it's, it's a degree. There's many degrees of blending happening as you go through your passaggio and as you go back down. So that's why a lot of people are having a hard time kind of singing through that vocal break and that's where you want to mix. And then we'll talk about strengthening the mix later on, but we just wanna get the mix going. So, when you are mixing, think of it more as a blend. Let's start in your chest voice. Just, just say chest voice, chest voice, chest voice, right? You feel the vibration right here. Now, I'm gonna put your chest voice here in this <laughs> degree. This is the degree of your chest. Now we're gonna go a little bit higher and now you're gonna start blending. You're gonna blend a little bit of your head voice, just a little bit, but it's more chest dominant still. So chest, chest blend, right? I'm still heavy on the chest but there's a little bit of lightness, a little bit. Now go here, chest blend, chest blend. Less heaviness, a little bit more on the head voice, but we're still in our chest dominant area. Let's go more towards the middle. Chest blend, chest blend. So that's a higher chest mix, chest dominant mix, that's what you would say. Now let's go 50-50. This is a 50-50 blend of your chest voice and your head voice. Hmm, I would, I would sing, let's sing 50-50. 50-50, 50-50. So it's a little bit lighter. It's not heavy, but it's not too light either. If it's too light, it sounds like this. 50-50, yeah. So let's go more towards your head voice range. Let's say head blend. Head blend, head blend. Let's go higher. Head blend, head blend. Go higher. Head blend, head blend, head blend, head blend. 50 50. Chest blend, chest blend, chest blend. 
imagery thing that I created, now you understand that mixing is all about blending, but there are different degrees of blending in between the other degrees, right? So there's not one correct mix voice. You just have to learn how to be heavier or lighter depending on if you're going higher or lower. Before we move on, let me know what is the hardest part about mixing that you want to improve on? What is making it so hard for you to transition from one register to the next? Is it your breath support? Is it just understanding the knowledge of it? Let me know. Now I wanna show you an exercise that I split into three parts that you can practice and this is how it's gonna work. You're gonna say the word nay, like a horse. Nay! <laughs> and you're gonna go up an eight note scale like this on each individual note. This is step one. Nay, 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 nay. Now, did you hear the flip? Did you hear that break that I have? It's kind of in between <laughs> the chest voice and the head voice. So yeah, I wanna do that on purpose so that I show you what's going on. So now, let's do one continuous nay like this. You still heard the flip. Um, that pretty much means I am kind of pressing too hard on my chest voice when I'm going towards the head voice. So I gotta back off on that heaviness. So maybe less air. And again, remember, when you go higher, less air. But remember this. When I say less air at the top, I don't mean weaker air. <laughs> you still need to have a strong stream of air coming out, but it just needs to be smaller so that you're not shoving your cords apart. Yeah. All right. Now, step three, you're going to do a slide like this. Yeah, you, you almost heard the break, but not really. We kind of smoothed it out. So did you see the three steps I did, but with one exercise? So let's recap. Let's do it individually. Great. Now let's do one continuous note. Great. Now let's do a slide. So just start with the ascending scale and then once you get more comfortable with this exercise, maybe do the ascending scale and then descend the scale as well. That will help you work on breath management more, especially if you're ready for a longer phrase exercise. But I like to just start off with some eight notes. <laughs> That's great to start and just figure out what's going on with your middle range. What's going on there? Why is it flipping? It's usually your breath support, honestly. Um, too much air is coming out when you go to the higher register. So you really got to back off, but you can't make the transition too obvious, right? So for example, if you're driving in a car and there's a speed bump, you don't want to just drive over it very quickly. What happens if you drive over a speed bump really quickly? You can, you can really see the jump in the car, right? And the person inside of you will really feel the effect of that speed bump. Now, if you drive over it smoothly and meticulously with a strategy, I guess, <laughs> you would still go over the bump. It's still there, it doesn't go anywhere, but the person inside next to you won't feel the shift. They won't feel the transition, but there is a transition. It's just not noticeable. So that's what you want mixing to feel and what it what it would sound like to the audience member. So it's going to take some time. Really work on developing your chest voice and then work on developing your head voice and then you can blend the two together. You can't really blend the two if one of the ingredients is non-existent. So sometimes when I'm working with someone, they really want to work on mixing, but we haven't even explored the head voice area. I can't mix. <laughs> I can't help you mix if one of the registers aren't developed. So I'm very, I feel very strongly about that. It's like they want, it's like you want a shortcut. There are no shortcuts. Sorry. You really have to practice and develop the muscle. You know, just like any physical activity, you have to build your muscle and then you can add on other techniques once those basic muscles have been developed. And I really want to stress this because I want to make sure you prevent any injuries from happening. 
if you have not developed the muscle to even do the slide exercise, to even go up a scale, then you might come into the problem of tearing your muscles. And you might not mean to, but if you rush the process, you might come into the, those problems. And I really don't want you to go through that. So take the time to practice, build your muscle. If you want to do more exercises like this to improve your mix, you can look up a lot of videos about it. There are so many videos about it on the internet, or you can book a private coaching with me. I do work on mixing with students and I would love to see you. So just go to my website and then just book an appointment.